just one-sixth of a square mile in area. Anuta is so small that no matter where you are, the sound of the waves is ever present. Life on Anuta has changed little since these people's ancestors arrived here nearly 400 years ago. Many Anutans still spend their entire lives on this remote speck of land. Anuta's isolation has meant that the 300 people who live here have had to become completely self-sufficient. Almost every square meter of the island is cultivated to grow staple crops like taro or breadfruit. Some of this food will be stored in the ground, an insurance policy against cyclones. With few trees on the island, their wooden outrigger canoes are treasured items and some have been in continuous use for nearly 150 years. Without them, these people would struggle to survive here. Since it's the sea that Newtons look to for most of their needs. have a plan for whichever direction the wind takes them. They know the location of every one of their reefs, lining up landmarks on the island to gauge their exact position. It makes fishing trips very productive. Anuta's isolation has shaped their society. Too far away to trade with other islands, they have a strong community spirit. Everything is shared and all work together for the common good. It's the secret of their success. Anuta has one of the highest population densities on Earth, equal to that of Bangladesh. Yet, on their tiny speck of land, these people have always lived completely within their resources. It's a remarkable achievement, and not one that is shared by all who have made a home in the South Pacific 